Two things you must know about the Health Science Centre Zoom Sanctuary Interfaith Inspirational Gatherings. They are open interfaith gatherings. The next one is on the 20th of September, noon central time. In these gatherings we accept God has spoken to and through many. There was a prophet of peace, Iganawida, united five, later six mutually hostile tribal groups in a federal union based on the democracy of the great law of peace. He came to the Iroquois and Six Nations. O oh gods, all your names and forms to be revered, saluted, and adorned. There is also the Kechania, the mysterious messengers of the gods from the legends of the Hopi Indians. All are welcome at our gathering as potent and as far-reaching as are the spiritual forces released by individual and collective devotions offered within the Mashal Asgar, the dawning place of the mention of God, in the inspirational gathering, the devotional, and as essential as is a vibrant devotional life to one's spiritual development, worship must also result, the House of Justice notes, in deeds that give outward expression to that inner transformation. All are welcome. At these gatherings, we are all one family. There was consensus among the religious leaders in that gathering. We are all the one family. There was consensus among the religious leaders that further collaboration among them at schools and in other social spaces would demonstrate their unity and dedication to peace especially to young people. There was also the lone man, the mandan, sacred values, honoring all the children that did not come home. Verily with exceeding joy, with heart and soul, do these oppressed divine offer themselves up for all mankind in every land. Thou seest them, O my Lord, weeping over the tears thy people shed, mourning the grief of thy children, condoling with humankind, suffering because of the calamities that beset all the denizens of the earth. We pray that we may be aligned with you, so that your powers may flow through us and be expressed by us for the good of this planet earth and all living beings upon it. The dialogue about missing and murdered First Nation women is important if we are to build a community we all feel we belong in. It is a hard discussion and difficult one, even traumatic to hear. Our Aboriginal sisters have had to go through this trauma. We can learn how they deal with being traumatized and can draw on their strength. If it is too much to bear, you can mute everything for the duration of the next slide. Audrey explains some of the tools she uses. I have an eagle fan. I have an owl fan. We have different kinds of sage. We have beautiful tobaccos. We have copa. We have medicines that we can be gifted from all across Canada, north to south. Everyone who comes in here and brings medicine, it is my job, and I am honored and humbled to do it, to take care of them. O oh, Krishna, it is right that the world delights and rejoices in your praise. Oh, that all the saints and sages bow down to you and all evil flees before you to the far corners of the universe. How could they not worship you, O oh Lord? You who are the eternal spirit, who existed before Brahma, the creator, and who will never cease to be the Lord of the gods. You are the abode of the universe changeless, you are what is and what is not, beyond the duality of existence and non-existence. Among the Aboriginal sacred leaders was the Cheyenne messenger Sweet Medicines, and he brought sacred teachings. Rabbi Shimha, a member of the Council of Israeli Chief Rabbinah, 
echo this sentiment, saying that the diversity of the staff serving at the Baha'i World Center offers a glimpse of the hopeful future. They show us that living together is possible. Do Black Lives Matter? Most certainly, for they are the pupil of the eye of humanity. Cleanse me with the waters of thy mercy, O my Lord, and make me wholly thine, and cause me to approach the tabernacle of thy cause, and the adorned sanctuary of thy presence. Ordain then for me all the things thou didst ordain for the chosen ones among thy handmaidens. Rain down upon me that which will illumine my face and enlighten my heart. Thou hast power to do what thou willest, and thou hast ordainest what thou pleasest. This is a wampum beaded peace that shows the prophet of peace, the Ganawana's great law of peace. In the center is the tree of peace. I implore thee, by thine all-glorious name, therewith thou didst adorn all the denizens of the kingdom of thy revelation, the inmates of thy heaven, of thy will, to grant that my soul may be attracted by the sweetness of the melody of the bird of heaven that chanteth amidst the branches of the tree of thy decree, that thou art God, and that there is none of the God besides thee. Among the aboriginal indigenous teachers of God was Gluskap, the envisioner messenger. It seems like tall tales are timeless truths. Indeed, the indispensable connection between these directing principles is integral to the oneness of humankind, which, as the House of Justice notes, is at once the operating principle and ultimate goal of Baha'u'llah's revelation. Make a list of your friends and invite them to this devotional, or devotional you begin. It is a gift for you to them. They are about prayer and devotion and service. May you have a good week. Take good care.